Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over why all of our credit cards are at risk because of the Flipper Zero. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So the prime reason why all of our credit cards are at risk is because of Flipper Zero's ability to allow a hacker to read, save, and emulate NFC cards. And an NFC card is a transponder that operates at around 14 uh, megahertz and has a unique number, also known as a UID, as well as a part of rewritable memory for storing data. Depending on the card type, memory can be segmented into sectors, pages, applications, and more. So when you are near a reader, NFC cards transmit the requested data. So NFC cards, like what, what is really that? So uh, we, we have our chip in our cards, right? And uh, the NFC, also known as the Near Field Communication, is a form of technology that enables communication between two devices. Now, uh, the majority of us uh, have credit cards, debit cards, that we can do contactless payments, right? So that is the problem right there. So one of the, one of the ways that this is done, and so let's talk about the reading procedure of the Flipper Zero. Right. Let's talk. Let's let's get into how. Right. This is the how now. So the reading process is automatic and does doesn't require any manual configuration by the user to read and save the NFC cards data. This can be done. You know, on the Flipper Zero, go to the main menu, then go to NFC. Uh, next, you're gonna want to press read and then hold the card near your Flipper Zero's back. Uh, you cannot move the card while reading, right? The, you have to be still with the Flipper Zero. And the he, he, here is the crazy part. The reading process might take up to several minutes. So this is not like an hours kind of thing. I mean, you could you could literally do this to someone in, in a matter of minutes. When finished, uh, you know, when, when the Flipper Zero is finished, you know, you go to more and then you save it, right? The name on the read card and then you click save. Now... Okay. Okay. Mark, I, I hear what you're saying. And okay. So, so what now? What if it fails? Because you know, it's not always gonna, you know, okay. I, I got you. If the read fails, right? There are other ways to get the information. Uh, the mark, the card might combine two different types of NF, NFC cards into one. You can pre-select the card type you want to read, right? that takes it to a whole nother level because there are types of nfc cards there's the type a which is like the my fair classic and the flipper zero can read the my fair classic one uh the the 4k the classic mini and save the data so those, those there are multiple types in the type a it can save and it can read you know data stored in sectors it can find all 32 keys for 16 sectors 80 keys for 40 sectors and 10 keys for five sectors for that the, the flipper uses uses um keys from the system dictionary could you imagine that could you imagine that so you can add keys to your user dictionary by going to main menu nfc extra actions and the my fair classic keys after the flipper zero reads the my fair classic card the original data is stored in memory when you implement changes to, to data via the Flipper Zero uh, mobile app or through emulation via your Flipper Zero, the device generates a new shadow file representing the new data state. This leads to desynchronization between the actual state of the Flipper Zero and the Flipper uh, the, the, the physical card. So to synchronize the physical card with the data state on your Flipper Zero, you can use the write to initial card function right and there's also the the tags there's also the tags that um that you know this can be done through one of the tags in particular is the n tag right the my fair ultralight n tag and flipper zero can re can write saved n tag data to another n tag card of the same type right uh, as an example, the NTAG 213 and the NTAG 213. Uh, the feature is available for NTAG 213, NTAG 215, and 216 cards. The initial and destination NTAG cards must be saved, uh, you know, uh, and it also must have their default PWD packed and disabled auth, uh, auth 0. Additionally, static and dynamic log bits must be at zero for both the initial and destination end tag cards, guaranteeing that all user memory is unlocked. Um, and could you, and here, here's the thing that got me. There is also, it can also do this with unknown cards, 
right? When reading for an unknown NFC card, Flipper Zero reads and saves only the UID SAK and the ATQA. Uh, f- you know, for unknown cards, Flipper Zero can emulate only the UID, but it still can do it. It still can do it. And it also can uh, uh, do uh, NFC cards type F for f- Felica cards. <laughs> F E L I C A cards flipper zero can also read, save, and emulate the manufacturer ID, also known as the IDM of the manufacturer um, manufacturer parameter, right? The manufacturer parameter. Uh, the next thing is the NFC cards types B. Uh, hybrid cards combine two types of NFC cards into one. So, for example, the EMV card can be combined with the MyFair Classic card. In this case, you'll need to specify as the hacker using the Flipper Zero what type of card you want to read by doing the following. Go go to the main menu, then go to NFC, then go to Extra Actions, and then read specific card type. Select the card type you want to read and then press the percent OK, percent OK. Hold the card reader near your hold your card right near the flipper zeros back to read the card's data. So I mean, there are literally literally multiple kinds of NFC card types. The this car this flipper zero can uh, read and steal data from. So uh, that's why all our cards are risk. So you know, let's protect ourselves. Please let me know what you feel about this in the comment section below. Do you have an idea that we can protect ourselves? Uh, best cybersecurity practice let us know please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button uh is there something that i missed that you feel that is that 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 you know you can add input in uh please let me know because it's all about protecting us at the end of the day so please hit the subscribe button the like button i appreciate your viewership stay safe and see you on the next video